and honor this morning no one compares to you you are unique distinct great mighty your word inspires speak to us this morning jesus name we pray amen amen have our seats in jesus name Thank you, Lord. We've been studying First Peter chapter 2 for a while now. Yesterday we looked at royalty to priesthood, what it means. We said royalty is about being a king and exercising authority. Priesthood is about service. So we were called to exercise dominion or authority as we serve. Our service is reinforced by the power that we have. In other words, we cannot be cut short. We cannot be stopped from what we are to do what we are called to do, Jesus was threatened by everybody. He came to authority yes. the way demons and devils can can block you if you are not a uh, if you are not established now in understanding what power and dominion is every time we enter a city the city that already demons and devils are not reigning in in such a city it takes wisdom it takes power to maintain your progress and your movement even in Marsabit, now that you have come in, we have to take our ground. Amen. We have to rise against words of men. One of the ways in which the devil reigns, I think as we are studying the armor of God, we are realizing is that uh, the devil will make sure that people will not believe God. They will doubt God. When they doubt God, and you have the truth, People oppose you. People oppose you. But then you have to exert some pressure so that you continue moving. You see, by the end of the day, it is truth that takes over the land, not lies. So somebody has to be persistent. And we have to persevere. The word persevere means in the face of things that are challenging and are threatening, you stand your ground and move on. So as we are talking about the new creation realities, what we are also saying is that we were created to have to experience or the, the, the land we are in to experience our influence by the authority we are given even as we serve them what God has put in us so every believer has to serve and that's to exercise some authority you there's a way you can penetrate even some very how do I call it some heavy oppositions of the enemy like right now as we are talking uh, what, is, what is coming against Marsabit we are still you know, this looks like a boxing force we, we have to have stamina to penetrate and bring down this wall 
and establish the right foundation in the land many of our stands have been challenged huh? many of our stands have been challenged things that are happening in the environment there's a way that it has made believers to be hopeless I was talking about fear that on Monday what the devil releases fear that things that when it hits you first of all you get shocked every day things are coming up in this land how how strong are you to absorb the shock that comes over some evil that are done against people in this land we need to have stamina to withstand it when somebody's head is cut off and they bring the head and the body put it somewhere in this town somewhere I don't know that's what I had happened on Sunday morning if that is what happened or when you hear that how do you look at it you must have been built up not to allow anything to enter you the Bible says guard your heart with all diligence guard your heart because when the devil penetrates and he, dis he, he releases some of his idea there and you receive his idea huh? when the Bible says be strong God knows why so we are saying as we are looking at the priesthood and royalty we are saying that uh, uh, you have to be strong enough to exercise authority I mean you have to be strong enough when you look at the, the fight happening between the Russia and Ukraine if you look at that uh, these people might have been caught unaware but I think they are not caught unaware like Ukraine I think this far they have come that man thought he would just hit them two days and he disappears now we, they are getting to the, the 14th day today and it looks like uh, irrespective of whether they knew that the attacks will come it appears that yet much evil was done people have died they have done a lot of things but they still have the courage to fight it is not how much armor you have or armor the missiles the whatever it is the strength of your heart that determines whether you overcome in any way I'm not forgetting But I'm not undermining the place of missiles. But even if the heart is not there to fight <laughs> with whatever you are given. Hmm? God does not expect us to, to faint in the face of adversity. Oppositions. I'm saying you must be strong enough to authority. And you must be strong enough to serve. Sometimes you are to serve people who are against you. That means you must have strength to serve, yeah? Hmm? In other words, your love must be bigger than that. I look at apostles you know there's a way even when some small challenge comes up as we retreat and we are like but when you look at uh, Paul John Mark made a big mistake to follow them 
Although it was brought about by by Barnabas. John Mark, the one that wrote for us the book of Mark. He didn't calculate what he was going to face in the ground when he goes out. <laughs> so, when the stones began coming, he left. He says, he in Ngum. I think Barnabas takes care of Barnabas does take care of uh, of young believers. That's how he began with Peter, Paul. Now Paul has grown of age. In fact, even more than Barnabas. The mission of Paul is bigger than this one of Barnabas. He underestimated, Barnabas underestimated the strength need some missions, work. He went with this guy the first time he did them. And Paul said, we don't need him now because if the same kind of problems happens, what, does happen, what happens? He will run. This work does not want faint-hearted people. Them that shrink back when things are not working. I am trying to look at Paul. How he stood his ground. The strength of heart and character that he has that helped him continue irrespective of what rose against him. Continue serving. Can somebody wound your bodies and you still heal the sick? Hmm? They were beaten and they're not bitter. In fact, they can lead the same people who beat them up to Christ. That is strength. Still serving. Amen. Still serving. That means our heart must have been saturated by this light of the word of God. To a point where evil cannot overtake us. See right now what is happening in Mars it is evil. The presence of evil is so much. Yesterday somebody was almost killed in our place there. When we left here, just a neighbor, they came with a gun to kill. Him. And they could not succeed, they left. So when we went home from here, the whole village is shocked and wondering. They, some could not even talk. You, you look at now the evil coming right before you are. they didn't succeed they tried to do something it cannot work they left may they never succeed in Jesus name when evil, such evil happens when such evil happens how how strong are you the truth is we are protected of the Lord Uh, our prayer must continue. This evil will not last. We will outlast this evil in this land. In Jesus' name. We will outlast it. We will, will have the final say over this darkness. We will have the final say over the lives of politicians and leaders and authorities that we have in the land. I'm saying we will have they are not the ones that are going to determine the future of this county. We are the ones. Yes, we are the ones. You know, many of the people who are in the position of leadership are not there because they want to serve. They are there because of the benefits. But them that are on this earth, on this land, because of the benefit of the land, not us, will outlast the leaders who are there for benefit. I mean we will so a new creation is the Bible calls us peculiar people a people belonging to God they say hmm? we belong to God we are not of the devil we are of God all that
that are not born again are not of God. So there has to be some uniqueness. There has to be something different. I mean something different about us. A people belonging to God the King James Version says a peculiar people. Peculiar. We are unique in every way. I'm saying we are unique. We are unique. Even the way we were born is different. The nature we have is different. The assignment we have is different. We are not of them that are consumers. We are producers. And we give. Amen. Yes, we are. You know that the first bath naturally made everybody a consumer. It creates a mindset of lack and poverty. So that even when you are in position of leadership higher than many, you still feel like when I lose this position, what happens to me? Look at that mindset. But we can begin from scratch and begin sponsoring people's life, causing them to live. We are unique. We lack nothing. We have everything. I'm saying we have everything that we need. It's available to us. We live from that mindset. That's where we live from. A mindset of giving. Because we are givers. God is a giver. God blesses people. God does all that is good to people. And that is our nature. Yes, and the Bible says our work is to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. To declare the praises of him. We have nothing to be disadvantaged. By. Nothing will disadvantage us. We have no bad news to spread. We only have good news. The people of this world have enough bad news to speak out. We have good news. Praises of Him. We should not be carriers of bad news as far as this world is concerned. We should not progress. What is happening? It is a way that evil can get attention of humans. When something evil happens, people's attention are dragged right there. I mean, we should be attracted by good news, good things. This is the way the devil has a uh, designed the human nature to be attracted only to evil. No wonder the news, the media, and the journalists, all of them are always after bad news. Bad news sells more than good news. But we are told we, we are to speak forth to show for the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yeah. So we are unique in this city. In Marsabit we are different than others. That's why our response concerning everything that is happening should be unique. We should not look like them that are of this world. We should not conform you see this aspect of conforming many a times this aspect of conforming 
Many at times it will arrive without you. There's a way you want to realign yourself with the environment. You are realigning our. You want to be like somebody in the environment. But we cannot, we should not. What the Bible speaks to us here is we are different. We belong to God. We are only to show forth the praises of Him. In other words, His good works that He does. We have to be doers of good works. Hmm? People that do good works. We have to be them that speak forth of the goodness of God. The praises of him. What do you praise? You praise things that are beneficial to people. You praise things that lift the life. Yes. So that is our work. To show for the praises of him. No day should we be commenting about evil in a way that we fear. I'm saying no way. No day in our life should we in any way we should speak forth of the goodness of the greatness of the might of God. Yes. So as a new creation, I know being a new creation, many of us uh, might not understand what we have brought ourselves into of new creations. We might not understand what we have come into. And that's why we are trying to to remind ourselves who we are. We are trying to remind ourselves who we are. That is enough for this morning. Lord, we are grateful in Jesus' name. We are not to be overtaken by what happens in the environment. We are not to be shocked by what the devil is doing. You have sent us to break the forces of evil. Lean to the Vidi Gamara Baglady, Shataraba, Manto Kara Prokosotoko. Yes, you have called us. Oth, Lebro Casele Procladia. Your praise, your good works to demonstrate, to work it out in this land. For men are evil, we will also do. To which you have called us. Thank you, Father. And thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's continue praying for next week meeting. Seven days with Ben Isaac. Beginning 14 to 28. The program runs normally as we've been doing before. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the fellowship of the Spirit is with us now and forevermore. Amen.